For entrance, please take hymn number A89 on page number 41. My dear brothers and sisters, today's Mass is offered by Maria Philomena de Souza, her children and her grandchildren. This Mass is offered in the intention for the soul of Alex Cassiano de Souza on the occasion of 10th death anniversary. My dear friends, if anyone dies, we really feel sorry for it. At the same time, Jesus consoles us. No one dies. Everyone who dies on this earth are risen in heaven along with Christ. So my dear brothers and sisters, as we pray for this intention, let us also pray for our own intention. Let us begin our Mass. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, any person we see, we have to recognize Jesus in them. In the same manner when I see within myself can I experience Jesus within me? Many a times when we commit sin, Jesus weeps for us. Because Jesus himself, through his crucifixion, he has redeemed us from all sins. Still many a times we have failed to observe the commandments which he has given to us. Let us call to our mind and ask God forgiveness. And let us together say, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my faults, through my faults, through my, through my most, most grievous faults. Therefore, ask, ask Blessed Mary, Mary ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Grant as we pray, O Lord our God, 
the constant gladness of being devoted to you for it is full and lasting happiness to serve with constancy the author of all that is good to our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you and the holy spirit one god forever and ever amen, amen. a reading from the book of the apocalypse i john saw in the right hand of him who was seated on the throne a scroll written within on the back on the back seal with seven seals and i saw a strong angel proclaiming with a loud voice who is worthy to open the scroll and break its seals and no one in heaven or on earth or under the earth was able to open the scroll or to look into it and i wept much that no one was found worthy to open the scroll or to look into it then one of the elders said to me weep not lo the lion of the tribe of juda the root of david has conquered so that he can open the scroll and its seven seals and between the throne and the four living creatures and among the elders i saw a lamb standing as though it had been slain with seven horns and with seven eyes which are the seven spirits of god sent out into the earth and he went and took the scroll from the right hand of him who was seated on the throne and when he had taken the scroll the four living creatures and the 24 elders fell down before the lamb each holding a harp and a golden with and with golden bowls full of incense which are the prayers of the saints and they sang a new song saying worthy art thou to take the scroll and to open its seals for thou wast slain and by the blood this ransom men for god from every tribe and tongue and people and nation and has made them a kingdom and priests to our god and they shall reign on earth the word of the lord thanks be to god our response will be you made us a line of kings and priests to serve our god please repeat you made us a line of king and priests to serve our lord alleluia sing a new song to the lord his praise in the assembly of the faithful let israel rejoice in its maker let zion son exult in the king our response you made us a lion of king and priest to serve our lord let them praise his name with dancing and make music with timbrel and harp for the lord takes delight in his people he crowns the poor with salvation our response you made us a lion of king and priest to serve our lord let the faithful rejoice in their glory shout for joy and take their rest let the praise of god be on their lips this honor is for all his faithful hallelujah you made us a lion of king and priest to serve our lord to your will o lord and teach me your law
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory be to you, O Lord. When Jesus drew near and saw Jerusalem, he wept over it, saying, Would that even today you knew the things that make for peace, but now they are hid from your eyes. For the days shall come upon you, when your enemies will cast up a bank about you and surround you, and hem you in on every side, and dash you to the ground, you and your children, within you, and they will not leave one stone upon another in you, because you did not know the time of your visitation. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to, to you, Lord O Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, Mother Teresa lived in a small house in Calcutta. And as she lived in that house, they also lived along with her often children. One day it so happened that in that house where Mother Teresa lived, there was nothing to eat. And Mother Teresa called all her children to her and said, Children, today we do not have anything to eat. But Mother Teresa said, If we spend time in prayer before God, God will surely give us something to eat. And after spending about 10 minutes praying, Mother Teresa, along with the children, went in the neighborhood. And in the neighborhood, there was a shopkeeper who hated Mother Teresa. Mother Teresa goes to this shopkeeper and extends her hand and says to him, Brother, give me something to eat to me and to my children. And this shopkeeper spits onto the palms of Mother Teresa. Mother Teresa gently wipes the spit on her sari and once again extends her hand and says, Brother, the spit you have given to me, but now give something for my children. The shopkeeper was shocked at these words of Mother Teresa. And from then on, regularly, he started giving some food to these orphan children. Mother Teresa experienced Jesus in her life. And to this experience of Jesus, to whomever she served, she always saw Jesus in others. And as she, jo as she saw Jesus in others, she helped these people. My dear brothers and sisters, in the gospel that we have ju just heard, similar things happen. Jesus is coming down the Mount of Olives. And as he sees the city of Jerusalem, he sees his own self in this city of Jerusalem. He sees that the Jews are going to ridicule him. The Jews are going to mock him. The Jews are going to beat him. The Jews are going to nail him to the cross. But Jesus also sees in this city of Jerusalem that on the third day, God will raise him up into his glory. He will be resurrected. Yes, my dear brothers and sisters, each one of us are a temple of the living God. And St. Paul, in his first letter, he writes to the Corinthians and says in chapter 6, verse 19, Or do you not know that you are the temple of the living God and the Spirit dwells in you, which you have from God, and that you are not of your own? Yes, my brothers and sisters, today 
just as Jesus wept for Jerusalem, Jesus weeps for you and me. He weeps for you and me because we are into sin. Sin has destroyed us just as the city of Jerusalem was destroyed in 70 AD. Sin has destroyed our body. But the Holy Mother Church gives us, a, gives us an opportunity to reconcile ourselves to the sacrament of reconciliation. And through this sacrament of reconciliations, we are born again. We are resurrected into Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, when we experience Jesus in our lives, we experience also Jesus' love. And when we experience Jesus' love, we have to give this love to our brothers and sisters. And we, when we give this love to our brothers and sisters, we got to see Jesus in them. And when we see Jesus in our brothers and sisters, then only Jesus will help us to resurrect along with him. And he will take us into the heavenly bliss and we will be sitting in his glory. So during this Eucharist, my dear brothers and sisters, let us ask for the same grace that when we serve our brothers and sisters, we may see Jesus in them and Jesus will resur resurrect us along with him. For this grace, let us pray during this Eucharistic celebration. For offertory, please take hymn number B27 on page number 73. my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, your Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant, O Lord, we pray that what we offer in the sight of your majesty may obtain for us the grace of being devoted to you and gain us the prize of everlasting happiness. To Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Father most holy, to your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word to whom you made all things, whom you said, Send us our Saviour and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion. So as we break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection, and so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim.
you are indeed holy, you Lord, font of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when Sapa was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread, when we drink this cup, we proclaim your glory until you come again. Until you come. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Philip Nera Bishop and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Alex Cassiano de Souza, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he, who was united with your son in, the, in a death like his, may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters, we have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, Mary to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Forever and ever. Amen. At a serious command, and formed by the divine teachings, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth, on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses. trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. 
Lord Jesus Christ, you said to, to your apostle, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on the sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant a peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. With the receiving of your body and blood, Lord Jesus Christ, not bring me to judgment and condemnation, but your loving mercy be for me, protection in mind and body and a healing remedy. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not, not worthy, worthy that you should, you enter, should enter under, under my roof, roof but only say the word, word and my soul shall be healed. May the body of and blood Since of we cannot receive Jesus at this moment sacramentally, let us make an act of spiritual communion and experience the presence of Jesus. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament of the altar. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul, since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally. Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. For communion, please take hymn number D43 on page number 118. partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in charity to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. For a session, please take hymn number T35 on page number 339.